You'll never feel the way I feel You don't know if my love is real Baby, listen to me, here's the deal When you're not here, I'm not the same I'm needing a new chapter, babe Been stuck here in a bed for days So we're using some Slap Your Mama We just go coat this chicken with that We're going to use some garlic powder. Be generous with the garlic powder. Then we're going to use some paprika. I love paprika on the chicken. I don't know why. I just not only like the way it looks, but it has a good taste. Then I use a little, 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 little oregano. Just straight across, light topping. And now we're gonna add our cut up bell peppers to the pan. This is gonna be like a smothered chicken. We're gonna add a gravy on top of this. I will show you the finished product. Okay, so we just want to add some onions to the pan. Some cut up onions we're adding. Spread that about the pan. And then we're gonna bake this. I got the oven on 350 and I think I'm gonna bake this I might turn it down lower than that so it can just cook real slow. Okay, so we'll bake this for like an hour and we'll check on it after that. So guys, this is like an apple wood seasoning. It has very other seasoning in it. It's in a little cup like this with no labeling because I get it from my grocery store. They use it on different foods that they cook, so they put some in a little cup for me. But it's an applewood seasoning, and I believe if we look really good in the seasoning aisle, we could find it. Next time I go, I'll try to find it. But we're just gonna coat the chicken with that. And it's plenty. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the oven for an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, and we'll be back. Look at this. Okay, that's the smothered chicken coming out of the oven. We're gonna let that cool down. Then I'll come back so we can see how to make mac and cheese. Okay, so I'm starting the mac and cheese. We got the noodles over here boiling. They're almost ready. And then I got my pan here. I make a roux. This is how I make my macaroni and cheese. I make a roux with butter and milk and the cheeses that I use. I use extra sharp. I use Colby Jack. I use um, a little bit of mozzarella as well, and then the sharp cheddar. I mean, extra sharp cheddar. Okay, so let's get the roux going. So this is how my roux has come out. That's basically butter, milk, and cheese. And you just melt it down together. Now you can season your roux if you like. I normally don't prevent the chance of it being too salty. Cheese has got the salt in it. So what I do is I season my noodles before I pour my roux on. I still have to put eggs in here and maybe a little bit of milk, but we'll see once we pour the roux on. So I'm gonna put my eggs in here, stir it up. I got my seasoning in here. I gotta put a little pe black pepper in here. And then we're gonna take this roux and we're gonna pour it all over the pasta, all over the noodles. So now I am stirring in the eggs. 
I used about four eggs in here for this size pan that I'm using. Get those mixed in real good. And then I'm gonna pour my roux. Okay, we got that roux poured in on the macaroni, on the pasta. We're gonna get this a good stir. See if we need any more cheese on top. I'm filming this by myself if you can't tell because this one hand action ain't working. I'll come back once I got this mixed up. Okay, people, I got the noodle, the roux mixed in. I did put cheese on the top, a little bit more cheese on the top, and I added uh, paprika. Um, I always put paprika on the top. I think it helps with the browning of the macaroni, although I think that's gonna happen without the paprika. But it's just something that I like to use on my macaroni and cheese, and it can always come out superb. All right, let's put this in the oven. We're gonna let this cook for, we're gonna start with 35 minutes and then check on it. I normally don't pay attention to the time. I just take it out according to how it look. I just know when it's ready by how it look, by how it looks. But for sake of the video, we'll use timing. We're gonna start this at 35 minutes and then we're gonna check it from there. Okay, let's put this in the oven. Okay, y'all, here is the fine two product. Took it out the oven about five minutes ago. I actually only needed 30 minutes. I had five minutes left on the timer, just in case you need to know. 